Hello guys and welcome to another interesting episode of Madrid My DNA, the home of everything Matodistas. As we discuss you through Real Madrid's latest and important update. Kickstarting with today's agenda, Real Madrid midfielder Aurelien Tramini drops hints of a teammate Tony Cruz retirement plans. We are going to be discussing you through that on this episode as we move forward. And shortly after that, we will quickly turn our attention to the next agenda as Real Madrid talisman Jude Bellingham was full of praises for Manchester United breakthrough talent Kobe Meno in a recent interview. We are also going to be discussing you through that on this episode as we move forward. So please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. Speaking on the bridge, Real Madrid and Frank's midfielder Aurelien Chouameni has held teammate Tony Cruz as one of the best in the world, while also dropping a hint over his potential retirement. Cruz, 34 years of age, continues to shine brightly at the highest level despite his age and still remains a permanent fixture in Carlo Ancelotti's team. Someone who has won it all in his career. The German midfielder, who recently made his return to international football, has always maintained that he wants to retire at the top. And Chouameni dropped a hint that such a move could be not very far away. It is funny to talk about retirement. It is important to think about it because as an athlete at some times in one's moment, it is going to be finished, Tramini stated. In my team, we have Tony Cruz, who is one of the best midfielders ever and he is playing at such a high level this season. He just has one year contract so after each season he can decide if he wants to stop playing or not. And when you talk to him about retirement, he says maybe he can stop at the end of the season. When you ask why, he replies, because I want to finish at the top, to how many added. On his feelings about how Cruz views things, Chouameni said, and that is hard to understand, but at the end of the day, I feel like he is also right. Cruz spoke about his future in a recent interview acknowledging that he has to make a decision on whether to renew with Real Madrid or hang up his boots soon as he said my future it is the decision i have to make in the next one or two months at real madrid and then we will see cruz remarked real madrid for their part are eager for cruz to renew and stay at the club for another season so it remains to be seen how things pan out with the midfielders future. So having discussed and concluded with that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda as Real Madrid talisman was full of praise for Man United breakthrough talent. Speaking after England's 2-2 draw against Belgium on Tuesday night, Real Madrid talisman Jude Bellingham lavished praise on Manchester United Youngster Kobe Meno. 
the teenage midfielder is enjoying his breakthrough with the Reds and earned a call up to England national team for this month's fixture against Brazil and Belgium. Having made his debut against Brazil last week, Meno featured against Belgium as well and made an impression. And his performances were all good enough to convince Bellingham that the youngster has a bright future in the game. Kobe Meno is very good. I know how hard it can be when there is a clamor and people put a lot of pressure on you but he is definitely a brilliant player Bellingham said as quoted by Fabrizio Romano he is going to be an amazing future he's going to have an amazing future at Manchester United and hopefully for England as well Bellingham was on target for England on Tuesday night, scoring the equaliser for his team late in stoppage time, with the last kick of the game at the 94th minute to be precise. It was far from a top performance from the Real Madrid ace, who was guilty of missing some chances on the night but happy he took the opportunity to equalize late on. I liked it because I know the rubbish we would have gotten if we lost two games in the bounce, Bellingham said. Discussing England's performance and results during the break, Bellingham added, these are two games that are going to stand us in us in good stead going into the Euros. I know people will be negative but you have to take these games for what they are. You have to keep perspective. We had a lot of lads making debuts this week and a lot of lads I have never played with. We created a lot of chances. I should have scored previously. I was happy I could make it up to the team, Bellingham said. With the international break now done and dusted, Bellingham will return to Spain and start preparations for Real Madrid's upcoming La Liga game against Athletic Club Bilbao after the recent conclusion of serving his too much suspension. So I haven't discussed and concluded with that, we have come to the end of this interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. See you next time and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.